Hello everybody, welcome back to the Joel Homie Show series, The Monthly Haul. This is the check-in for February of 2021. Hey, you there! I want to remind everybody that if you end up liking this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. And right now, YouTube says that over 90% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed, so it would really help, and with that... Hey, it's Joel, and welcome back to the Joel Homie Show series, The Monthly Haul. I know this is a bit of a odd video because, um, literally yesterday's video, I was just talking about how I wasn't going to be posting this week, but I completely forgot that this is the last week of February of 2021, which is the last week that I can upload The Monthly Haul. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have taken this break. I would have taken off next week so I could still post The Monthly Haul in a normal week of videos, but I completely forgot, and it just sort of, like, flew right over top of my head. But anyways, so I'm still going to be doing a, a monthly haul like normal, and for the couple of you guys out there that just happen to not know what the monthly haul is the monthly haul is one of my only original jhs series here on the jewel Homie show where i take a look at all the interesting things that i've done in the recent month going all the way from thrift stores swap meets special occasions like my birthday and christmas and also um all the way down to things like retail stores and online shopping but anyway i'm going to go ahead and start at the top of the pile and just sort of move my way down as i have a bunch of boxes here in front of me that i don't think the camera can actually see but i'm going to go ahead and start with these little model trains up here so these are a couple of HO scale locomotives and cabooses. This first one that I'll pick up is a lifelike. Yeah, I believe this is a lifelike uh, GP30 class HO scale diesel electric locomotive. And this one, I don't exactly know if it's actually a GP30 class because I've noticed some differences between uh, this locomotive and my actual GP30 class locomotives that I have made by other companies like Bachman, which are much better in detail and stuff like that. But that shouldn't affect the reasoning of like of the actual GP30 class locomotives that I have actually have like extra vents and sort of uh, some of the details are in different places so this might just be a different class of locomotive that is technically a GP30 but what had like a different orientation but I don't know what it would have actually been called when it was in service so uh, I'm just gonna call it a GP30 but either way still a absolutely spectacular looking locomotive also my very first uh, Chessie system locomotive and then the next one here is actually a Tyco as you can sort of see on the bottom there which I never had a Tyco locomotive I don't believe but I don't know what class of locomotive this is it is similar in shape and design to the gp30 or at least whatever class of locomotive that is but this one is a lot more damaged like this one looks like whoever had it is uh, still brand new or was taken very good care of whereas this one is missing rails the paint isn't perfect it actually has some big dings on the back on some of the vents but as i said i don't know what class of locomotive this is unfortunately a lot of companies don't put orientation on the bottom like i wish they would like it could say tyco um gp30 or whatever class of locomotive it is and then another problem that this one actually has is one of the bogies is very very stiff so i can't actually run this one either because it derails itself and then this is a kansas durango colorado locomotive and its rail number is 5628 uh, and then the one for this one i believe this is a um, Burlington and Ohio if I'm not mistaken but this one is 4810 that is the running number of that one in case anybody really cares and then both of these locomotives actually came with cabooses as well this one is another Kansas City and Durango Colorado locomotive or to excuse me not a locomotive but a caboose and I really liked this particular caboose and locomotive because I have two other types of this exact caboose so now I actually have three different designs but they're all really the same thing and of course I love collecting things like that and getting to see the variation in things so there is that, and unlike the locomotive, this uh, caboose is actually in really, really good condition. Doesn't have any scratches or anything like that. But anyway, setting that off to the side, mind you, that one also actually has a functional light, as you can sort of see there. And then this is the caboose that came with the Chessie System locomotive, which is uh, labeled as the running number 1872, and just has the Chessie System logo on the side, and has sort of like the same livery and design as the locomotive. But anyway, setting these off to the side. So the next thing that I'm going to go ahead and move to is just some little things that I have here, or, or rather some large things. So here we have a stack of black construction paper. I actually ended up getting this as a gift from my mom as I actually needed it to black out the windows on my um, RC car and I also used it for some other smaller projects which I won't really talk too much about because they're not really worthwhile but anyway there is a stack of black construction paper so now I have that and I don't fully know what to do with all of it and then here we have a 1500 um, gold 
gold racing battery now this one is a 7.4 volt output battery which this is actually for my um rc car more specifically my axial sx10 to cherokee build but anyway that is also nice to have a larger battery and this was a gift from my dad and i believe i have the box somewhere up here i believe it's actually this yeah here is the box for the battery as you can see there but anyway setting that off to the side the next thing that i'll go ahead and grab here is actually an iron this is something that i never really thought i'd get irons or really something that were quite distance to me because i remember when i was little i would watch my grandmother iron her clothes and stuff like that because it's something that i guess people used to do quite commonly but i've never actually seen anyone besides my grandparents just casually ironing their clothes but i ended up having to get one for a school assignment and i had to iron on a vinyl onto a t-shirt and more especially it was actually a logo that i made for the joel homie show and the new one that i'm going to be using and rebranding the banner profile picture and intro with here pretty soon but anyway really really nice Nice iron here it is a Hamilton Beach model a nice little iron there sadly it is a newer model so it has a lot more plastic involved in the construction that I like but I don't think anyone really cares about that and then the next thing that I have here is a Flysky GT5 radio control transmitter more specifically I got this for controlling my Axial SX10 2 Cherokee build and I actually got a another receiver that could uh, be used with this for my team associated CR12 so now I can use this transmitter for both of my builds both of the one 10th scale rig as well as the 1 to 12th scale one and this is just the box the actual transmitter i have packed away in my bag of rc stuff but anyway a really really nice digital radio control transmitter i really really like this and once again this was a gift from my mom so my thanks and gratitude go out to her but anyway setting that off to the side the next thing that i have to look at here is a little unis honest bag and at this point it's actually been quite a while since unis honest was actually sort of deleted from youtube and it sort of um, ended off its lifespan if you want to say that but right before before it did go away I actually got a bunch of uh, stuff because I was like hey it'd be cool to have this stuff for a channel that well won't really ever be here ever again so I can kind of like have these to be like well I was there I witnessed that and that's sort of something that I wanted to take pride in so I got a bunch of stuff to show it so these first two things is actually a little flag and a lanyard I'll go ahead and open these up I don't know if this bag yeah there we go so the first thing here is actually just a lanyard that says Unis Honest, and the Unis Honest design was all about the black and white, so one side is a black with sort of like white lettering, and then the other side is white with black lettering and a black outline, and then the flag here... I actually um don't really remember the design that's on this flag, so I'm kind of experiencing this for the first time as well. I've never taken this out before. Oh boy. Holy cow! Jeez! Well, um, well, as you can see on the front there, it says Unis Honest and has a skull design. Sadly, it looks like it has a weird little stain in it. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, yeah, absolutely spectacular looking flag there that says Unis Honest with the little skull design on it. And then also the lanyard, as I had said earlier. But once again, setting those off to the side, I'll go ahead and take a look at the next thing here, which is a completely different topic, but is actually a Thomas and Friends Trackmaster um, Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle. And I actually got this mainly because recently Mattel decided to go out and redesign the carriages. Um, a while back, or actually quite recently, a lot of the Trackmaster 2 carriages were like really short and stubby and were really cheap and sort of just had a nasty, not nice design in my opinion. But they actually went out and sort of redesigned them back to like classic Trackmaster and like the Tomy days where toys were like really, really nice and high quality and these coaches look a lot nicer than the old ones or sort of like the new but older ones. But yeah, I thought it'd be really cool to have these and since uh, in my opinion, these look way better than the older sort of uh, original designs that Mattel had with Trackmaster 2 but yeah I've, I'll probably be trying to review this product because as I said I really like the redesign that they did with these carriages even while sadly they're doing a bunch of crap with redesigning the show which isn't nearly as nice but uh, that's a subject for a different video if I ever do one and then here we have a couple of Lego sets this is Lego City set 60273 the police driller chase with 179 pieces recommended for ages 5 and up and this is one that I'll be trying to review once again I want to review as many sets as possible just in case I ever lack motivation to make videos.
videos again, just so that I have a bunch more videos ready to go. And then the other set that I have here is LEGO City Set 60253, the ice cream truck with 200 pieces, recommended for ages 5 and up. And this is one that I actually wanted, both of these are from my mother, so once again, thanks and gratitude go out to her. The next couple of things that I have to take a look at here are actually some more things from retail stores on online shipping. So the first thing here is a sort of Valentine's gift from my mom, one really nice thing that my mom does as opposed to all the other nice things that my mom does for me is every Valentine's Day she'll get me a little bag of goodies and stuff like that and this Valentine's Day she actually got me Lego Speed Champion set 76897 the 1985 Audi Sport uh, Quadro S1 with 250 pieces. Now this is actually a Lego set that I've reviewed in the past because my stepfather Steve actually has also gotten the set because I guess he really liked this car and I actually built it for him and reviewed this set with my current sort of like uh, the way that I review everything so it's still a good review but now I have another set so I guess I can give his set back to him and keep my own. So anyway setting that off to the side and the next couple of things that I have here are some more Unis Honest things. So I thought it was kind of funny that Unis Honest was actually selling socks, so I went ahead and got some of the Unis Honest socks because I thought they were kind of funny. So the Unis Honest socks, like all of the other things designed, have the sort of black and white design with these skulls. And then here you actually have the date that these were released as a sort of like how many days that Unis Honest had left at the time. And then another thing that I have here is the Unis Honest Dead Hat, I believe it was named. If, it, if I'm saying that correctly, I don't fully remember. Obviously, the shop does not exist anymore, so I um, can't really look at that anymore. But but here is the hat, just a black design, pretty simple, and it says Unis Honest on the back. And a couple of things actually just fell out of it that I'll take a look at quickly. And every order that I actually got or everything that arrived came with a Unis Honest sticker. I'll be trying to give these to a couple of my friends that unfortunately couldn't get any of the Unis Honest stuff because I think they're a really cool design. And quite frankly, I know some of my friends that would love to have some of these. But anyway, setting those off to the side, the next couple of things that I have here is another thing for the RC core. This is a Sense ESS-1 uh, sound module for RC cores and this is actually one that I, I actually installed onto my Axial SX-102 Cherokee and I really really like it. It sort of uh, goes along with how hard you pull the trigger so as you accelerate it sounds like a real car with the engine revving up and down and it's sort of uh, revving down as well. It's really really cool and I really like it but anyway setting that off to the side the other couple of things that I have here are actually some relatively small things. I'll go ahead and actually gather them up because I have quite a couple little things here. So all of these things are relatively simple but here we have a a bunch of little rods for mounting bumpers. I needed these a while ago and actually for some reason got way more than I expected. But anyway, it's always nice to have extras because these things tend to have problems well, at least in my experience with things like bending and the holes getting like sort of stretched out when they get bashed into things. But anyway, setting those off to the side, a couple of the things that I have here are some Y cables that I actually needed so that I could run more sets of lights. And then here we have some metal gears for my mom's um, team associated CR12 in the Ford variant with the Ford body as, as opposed to mine which is the Tioga trail truck and then here we have a um, alloy or aluminum bumper mount which actually I'm sure I'm sort of like unsure as to why I got this one as well as I already installed a aluminum rear bumper mount but for some reason I got another one that's actually unbranded as opposed to the brand name one that I did get and then here um, sort of ironically some more bumper mounts and then here the last thing here is actually a, a voltage meter from Venom now I don't actually have it here I believe it's actually in my bag of parts that I take out with me but what this does is you plug it into the battery or specifically light bulb batteries and a couple other kinds and it tells you the voltage of each cell as well as the battery in general and it has a little alarm so when the battery gets low it'll beep and sort of like warn you that it's getting low so that you don't run down your battery completely flat and then here we have a watch wristband for my Apple watch that my stepfather Steve got for me so as usual things and gratitude go out to him and then here we have another enamel pin from Hasbro Hotel or Vizzy Pop with Angel um, hugging fat nuggets and speaking of fat nuggets here we have a, a plushie from short robot um, this is another vivzy pop product obviously so I'll go ahead and open this up here so here is Fat Nuggets. Uh, he's absolutely adorable. I love Fat Nuggets. He's a very, very cute and just sort of like wholesome character, which is sort of odd because Hasbro Hotel is not for kids and having a wholesome sort of just babyish cutesy character is kind of odd as opposed to the other characters. But anyway, here we have a really, really nice sort of Hasbro Hotel tag and on the back it says that this character is Fat Nuggets. And specifically, this is the plushie. Obviously, looks really, really adorable. Look at his little curly tail, his spikes, the designs and all that stuff. And then setting these off to the side once again. I'll go ahead and move out some of these things as well. 
And then I'll go ahead and grab the other couple of things that I have in this bag of stuff from my mom that once again I got for Valentine's Day. So as usual, I also got a absolutely adorable little stuffed animal plushie. So here we have a little cute uh, dog. I presume this is supposed to be a corgi just based on the colors with the sort of like white belly as well as sort of like the darker tannish fur up top. Got a really, really cute tail. The paws are little hearts, which is absolutely adorable. And then there's this little face with the ears that have the same design. And mind you, it is very, very soft. I really, really like this plushie. And I'll be putting these with the couple of other plushies that my mom has gotten me in the past. And then the other couple of things in this bag are actually just a bunch of candy. So yeah, a bunch of stuff to ruin my teeth. But anyway, setting that off to the side of this next thing here is actually my very first U2s that I've gotten. So for those of you unaware, U2s are kind of like pops. The pop figures only except they are meant for like representing YouTubers and I believe for just social media stars in general, but I'm very unsure as to that. But anyway, the first one that I actually decided to pick up is actually a Unus Honest design. And I decided to get it because like everything else related to Unus Honest, it was limited edition. So here, this is the U2's Unus Honest Hourglass vinyl figure. And on the front here, as you can see, it has Ethan, aka Crank Gameplays, as well as Markiplier, aka um, Markiplier. And I really, really like this because the Hourglass is a design that I really, really thought was quite unique and cool looking. And also, mind you, I didn't know this about U2's, but the actual like promotional box is really, really cool looking. Like it has this cool design on top to match with Unus Honest, which obviously is limited to this design, but all of the boxes I presume must be just as sort of like cool and fancy is this one but anyway yeah so i'm going to go ahead and sort of try to open this uh, i really really don't want to damage the boxes anyway because if i damage this box uh i can't get another one and then on the inside it says my life is in the hands of an idiot no 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 two idiots <laughs> That is hilarious. And then here's the design on the inside. And then pulling it out, I believe I'm just going to go ahead and fold these open and pull out this plastic insert. Which actually has the a little flap, I believe, that I can pull on here. There we go. Sort of wants to fold out there. But anyway, setting the box off to the side. Oh my gosh, I want to show this again. I just want to say that the design on the inside is really, really cool. Um, really, really cool box, oddly enough. But anyway, I guess that's sort of expected, and since this is a collectibles figure, as I said, sort of similar to that of the concept of Pops. But anyway, pulling this actual figure out here, technically speaking, I guess it's two figures-ish, at least two heads. But anyway, here it says Memento Mori on the front, as well as Unus Honest, and then on the bottom it says U2s, U2s.com, which is the website. And then here, obviously, we have Ethan, as well as Mark there on the bottom. And then we have the sort of like sand or the hourglass sort of uh, material falling down there. And then on the top, have a really cool design there. And then on the back, it has the two skulls of Mark, as well as Ethan. Really, really cool. I quite like this although it has some white dust all over it i don't know what that is probably something from production but in a way putting this back in i really don't want this to get damaged until i have a proper or i well, i don't want it to get damaged ever but i don't want it out until i have a proper place to display it so i'm going to go ahead and set it back in there for now and then the only other thing that I have here in front of me related to Unus Arnas, I believe, is actually a sweater as well as a shirt. So as I said, I got way too much related to Unus Arnas. But um, yeah, so here we have the Unus Arnas shirt that has the skull design on the front that says Unus Arnas, obviously. And then tossing that shirt to the side. Here is actually my more favorite part because I absolutely love wearing these. It is a hoodie. Um, if you guys can tell, I've gotten uh, quite a couple hoodies in the recent past with things like the Majira Strawberry hoodie the odd ones out hoodie and i have a, quite a couple other ones like this unus honest one now so i'm trying to get this unfolded so i can show you guys the design so on the front here it has the unus honest hourglass design this is sort of like the original design that i actually drew when unus honest was doing their goodbye live stream and then on the side here it says unus honest as you can see there and then on the other side it says memento mori which was sort of like the saying of um unus honest i guess you could say but anyway tossing that off to the side i wouldn't be surprised if you guys can see me wearing that in future videos as i'm really excited to be able to wear that but the only other thing that i have here related to youtube in general is a another makeshift plushie and this is actually another cat zoom what which um for those of you that watched one of my monthly hauls a while back of last year towards the end of last year i actually got a cat zoom plushie from makeshift and uh, i went just like this one 
but this is actually the zombie design as you can see here which is absolutely adorable i love the, the, the these little plushies and um the other one was just the normal design and i thought this one would be really cool to have with the normal design as the zombie series is actually a series that Catzoon had done in particular and this plushie is to go along with that series so uh, this uh, plushie is very much similar to the other one's design but the red is a little bit of a different tone got some grips on the sweater one of the eyes is x'd out got some scores and then here on the little tag it says cat Zoom fueled by fans october 2020 as you can see there and then this was uh, one of 446 that was produced by makeship and then as usual we have the cute little tag there um, sort of stitched in there which i always thought was cool because the colors were really vibrant and i love vibrant colors and then here is the bag i thought it showed because it's a cool little pull string bag but anyway putting that back in the bag quickly let's go ahead and take a look at the last couple of things i have here in front of me tossing that to the side so the first thing here that i forgot to show with the other parts was actually i got some light pods for the axial sex 10 2 cherokee build that i could put on the back i thought they'd look cool but they ended up actually popping off really easy so i didn't actually install them but i have some smaller ones so i might put these on i don't know yet but anyway setting those to the side let's go ahead and now take a look at the last thing that i actually have for the cherokee build so this is actually a Lexan interior, as you can see here, and it came with a set of stickers, and here is the tag with the part number, just in case anyone really cares. And then the interior itself, I would already have installed onto the truck itself, but I had some problems actually installing it. This lip got in the way of the body, and I don't want it to scratch the paint on the inside, so I haven't found a proper way to install it yet. But anyway, I'll be trying my best to install this in the future, and if I can't, I will just end up blacking out the windows as I was going to do originally. But anyway, setting this off to the side, the only other two things that I have related to RC cars here before I take a look at the last Unis Honest stuff as well as some of the things that I got for that project that I'd spoken about earlier with the um, final design being ironed onto the shirt is actually a case that I got from my dad. This is actually a handy down from him as he got a new one. But if I flip open these two flaps here, all these two little latches on the inside, you can see that it has a big foam block, which you can remove sort of like sections. I don't know if you can sort of like see it separating, but this is so that I can actually put my transmitter and batteries in here. And then he also gave me some stickers like this one that says High Desert Crawlers, which is a part of the group that my dad is part of, as well as myself. Some Proline stickers, and then we also have the um, some more stickers on the outside here, because as I said, this is not a, a new... Um case by any means this is a handy down for my dad that he had been using for ages uh, upon ages but anyway setting that down let's go ahead and now take a look at the last couple of things that i have here so this is the last orc product that i have this is a fpv core meaning that you have some fpv goggles that you actually put on and they connect to a camera on the core this is the emax interceptor race vision which stands for just sort of like a catchy term for the fpv aspect of this which if i open this up quickly i'll go ahead and show you the car so the car here is actually relatively small really really cute design i'm going to try my best to review this in the soon future but obviously as i mentioned in yesterday's video i just have not had motivation to film videos but anyway here is actually the oh i did not mean to pull that off but uh, and since i can pull them out the big white thing there is actually the fpv goggles that you put on while you're actually driving around the car so now i'm going to go ahead and take a look at the last unis honest product that i actually have here that i believe I don't think there's any more actually being shipped to me that haven't been delivered yet. I don't believe there is, but here it comes in the form of a big tube. And it has some little rubber caps on the end of some little plastic caps. And this is actually a poster, which I'll go ahead and pull out here. Once again, I've not actually seen this poster before, so this is a first for me. But anyway, the poster design... Oh, whoop, that just fell on the floor. But anyway, here the poster has a really, really nice sort of like sparkly, I guess you could call it sort of like a, a metallic design it, with the um, hourglass here on the front. And it doesn't say Unisonis or anything, it just has the hourglass design, which is once again the design that I decided to draw while uh, Unisonis was doing their goodbye live stream. And on, on the back doesn't have anything there. So I'll go ahead and roll this back up because as I said, until I have a place to display this, I really don't want these getting damaged because if they get damaged, I can never really replace them. 
But anyway, putting that back into its little protective cardboard tube, the thing that actually fell on the floor was actually my favorite part, which is actually the enamel pin. And I am absolutely a geek for pins, as you can tell by all the enamel pins that I've gotten in the past related to things like Dibsy Pop and Hasbro Hotel. But this one is actually a Unis Honest enamel pin with the same sort of design there on the front, which is the hourglass design with the two skulls, which is once again the design that I had decided to draw. And it says that death is coming, Unis Honest up at the top. And then when this actually came out, Unis Honest had 172 days left before it would be deleted, as you can see there. But anyway, setting those back in the thing, the last two things that I have to show here aren't really all that interesting, but some things that actually go along with the t-shirt sort of vinyl um, project that I had to do for a school assignment. So the first thing here was actually parchment paper, which goes on top of the vinyl so that you don't like melt the plastic that the vinyl is attached to and like, you know, ruin your iron and stuff. So parchment paper there, and then also a ironing mat, which is to go on the table so that, you know, like don't melt your table or like start burning stuff or anything like that. And uh, yeah, so I'll be trying to do some more stuff with this in the future because as I found out, ironing things is actually a lot of fun. But anyway, with that being said, um, I apologize for the amount of rambling that I've done in today's episode. As I said, I will not be uploading the rest of this week as uh, starting either next week or the week after. I'll be starting up with a new schedule as well as the redesign with the introduction of the new profile picture, new banner, as well as the new intro, and possibly, I don't know yet, but possibly a new outro or just no outro. I don't really know yet. I might also use the old one. I don't know. But but anyway, with that being said, there is the February of 2021 check-in for the Joel Homie Show series, The Monthly Haul. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it... Oh.